Okay, right, so now we're going to see how it stacks up against this. Now we're going to see how this thing stacks up against dirt. No, apparently I had the phone face it the wrong way, guys. So we go ahead and get it in the tripod. Let me just make sure I get this in position. Okay, right, so there you go. Let me go ahead and move the chair back. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys a direct, a direct view of what's going to be going on here. Should it laser stable so it's not going to fall over on you. All right, guys, here we go. Dirt Devil Featherlight versus the paper. Let's see what really happens here. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, as I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure it's going to inhale it with no problems and it's going to go right into the bag. Guys, there's only one way to find out. Let's get down to it and give it a go. Guys, I'm pretty sure this vacuum won't fail at all. Give me a second, guys. You get plugged in, and I'll get you right with One second. Just a second here, guys. Get this thing set up here. I, and I get it plugged in. And I got a space apart the little prongs. So they're not space apart properly, so I can get plugged in against them in here. Alright guys, there you go. Alright guys, here you go. You get to watch this thing and hit all the paper.
too long. I'm about to lay it back and wait. That mess is hurting all for a while, guys. I'll try to get through it. Guys, okay, the more I mess with the longer it takes. Okay, so Christmas market is just using holiday car jams. In my case, it's going to be the red dirt doll thunder light. Hey, look, guys, this is actually a holiday car, right? I have the uh, Apex, it's also going to be a holiday car vacuum. We have the HS45 Shark, it's going to be a holiday. Like I said, guys, that's going to be my guess. You guys, it's a holiday special for while we're waiting on the Drip Doll Company. Go ahead and sort their, sort out their, their thoughts with the, with the uh, power rack. Go ahead and roll that to the second, like I said. So, it's the most out of weight on it. What they're doing, I'll, I'll say something right now. I don't know what they're doing. Well, as I can tell you, I gotta wait. Well, guys, let's take a look at the bottom end of this guy. Let's see. I highly doubt you're going to find anything. Let's take a look at this. I know it's a plastic brush, but like I said, between you and I, guys, I highly doubt you're going to find anything sticking down here at all. I bet you're going to find nothing sticking down here in this vacuum brush roller. Let's see. There appears to be a little something here on the floor. I don't know what it is, but... We'll get it with the next Dirt Dell vacuum. Some little pin or something, I don't know what it is, but I'm not gonna worry about that. We'll save it for the next vacuum, the vacuum up into, into it. Like I said though, guys, look at that. Not even nothing stuck in that Dirt Dell. I mean, guys, look at this. Not even nothing. One little thing on it. Maybe a little bit of thread. So be it. I mean, if that's the worst thing, then hmm, that ain't nothing, guys. Like I said, this old dirt devil, I mean, this old dirt devil, you can't beat it. There's not very much hair on it. Just a few pieces of thread, that's it. If they, yeah, just thread. Because like I said, how can you beat this? I mean, although it's plastic, I gotta say... It's hard, to, it's hard to beat this all vacuum. Now, guys, if depending on which direction they take it, I don't care which direction they choose, whether if it's Power Max or I get the, um, the crummy Power Max, whatever, my decision is going to be as, as follows. is going to be if I want to put the Power Max, I'll politely ask my mom to put it up for sale on Facebook and get rid of it, guys. And I will go and get me a nice Dirt Dell multi-surface unit, guys. Because that's what I've been wanting to begin with. Um, I could do Eureka and all, but I highly doubt I'm going to... I highly doubt I'm going to find it in stores, guys. I think meanwhile, while we wait, guys, I might do some online looking. So I might, you know, look, we'll look online at the vacuums possibly, guys. So I'm sure everyone has that vacuum that they want for Christmas. And mine's simply the, uh, mine's simply the uh, Dirt Devil, uh, Dirt Devil Multi-Surface, guys. I don't even care if it's the Rewind or the $89 or the uh, Extended Reach one. Either one would be just fine. 
The Inova is an $84 vacuum, guys. You know, I don't know how good the Eureka Inova is, but I might do some I might do some research on that and look it up on YouTube. Like I said, guys, I think I'm gonna stick right along with the Royal Dirt Doll vacuum that I've had. I think I'm gonna stick with the Dirt Doll brand, guys. I haven't had me any issues at all. Except for that Power Max, so I'm not gonna. Like I said, the uh, the Quick Power has been really good to me. I haven't had no issues with it. So, like I said, I'm gonna say I'm gonna stick with Dirt Devil for the most part of it, guys. Like I said, I've had zero issues with this vacuum. I haven't had to do anything to it. In fact, it's all I had to no, it's all I had to do was just throw a new bag in, guys. That's it. I didn't have to replace the belt. The belt was still good on it. So, like I said. I will have to, you know, visit a hardware store in town now. I gotta get me some Style 5 belts. I got one, I have one belt left and that's about it. Let me see, guys. I see nothing stuck in here. Yeah, nothing. Guys, look at this. This is basically when Dirt Devil made Dirt Devil. This is when Royal Appliance was, was um, doing their vacuums. You can clearly tell. So you guys can tell. You know, this is the this is the basic setup now. This is before Dirt Devil Tetronish brought Dirt Devil off because look I'll show you in the back here. There's some history to it. Let's see if we can all find where the sticker's at. So I'm pretty sure I can look for it and find it. Oh, here we are. Right down here, guys. I'll go ahead here and put it down on its face. Gently. Alright guys, so the history of the company here. It's effective. Well, that was the warranty. is 2008, obviously. 108. Let's see if we can find... Let me go ahead and... I'll just the, open the rest of it. Oh, I can't see it on the that way either. I'm going to have to be real thorough when I look at this. Okay, guys, model number. Don't mind me, I was eating deep dish pizza. Model number is going to be 085585. Plant R. Okay, guys, so January 7th. Manufacture code. Now, let's see if we can figure out the year this is this was made. If I'm reading this correctly, and I might be right, I might be wrong. Let's take a look at the UPC on it. It's basically covered by this plastic joint. Let me show you guys here. If I'm going to have to guess anything, guys, this is built January, so this is made January 7th of January of 2008. That's what I'm going to guess. Because judging by the brush roller, guys, they typically made the brush rollers on these units in, um, they made wood brush rollers on these in the 90s. So that's what I know. That's what I know of the history of Dirt Devil. Dirt Devil's there. Now, back in the 40s, guys, they made a, a pretzel style Dirt Devil. It was basically a soft bag, no hose, no nothing. You twist the belt on the shaft and it'd hook up to the brush roller. If you look in Arbach 1618's videos, he has a. Um, you have to dig a little bit, or you can dig in on YouTube. You'll find an older Dirt Devil from like the, from like the 1940s. Like I said, guys, this here is one day. This is before Tektronix took over here. Because no, it says Royal. Made in China. Royal Appliance Co. Glen. Glen Willow, Ohio. So, like I said, guys, this is basically before Tektronix took over Dirt Devil. So, yeah, that's basically the history on that. So, let me go ahead here and pop this thing back up. And I hope you oh. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I gotta go ahead and get this thing up right. So 
Let me go ahead and stand up. And then I will go ahead here and I don't know if this goes to the I don't believe this goes to the or does it go to the Oh.